Greetings tech and gaming fans, Edge Runners is back with the latest updates you don't want to miss. In today's episode, Intel's Nova Lake CPUs get new specs, AMD's RDNA 4 launch confirmed, Nvidia trims RTX 4060 supply, while RTX 5060 Ti details leak, also EVGA shuts down its forum. In addition, we take a look at Onimusha Remaster and more. Prepare a cup of your favorite tea, settle in, and let's kick things off. First up, according to Unico's hardware, AMD's next generation RDNA 4 graphics cards, the Radeon RX 9070 XT and Radeon RX 9070, will officially launch on March 6, 2025. This date was confirmed by sources within AMD's supply chain. The release coincides with the expiration of the review embargo for these new GPUs. However, Unico's hardware was unable to provide details on when AMD will hold a major press conference to unveil the full specifications of the Radeon RX 9070 series. Some sources, including video cards, speculate that the event could take place on February 27th, as AMD has previously held press conferences about a week before the launch of major products. Are you waiting for AMD's RDNA 4 GPUs? Let us know in the comments. According to video cards, citing insider information from the Board Channel's forum, Nvidia plans to significantly reduce shipments of RTX 4060 series graphics cards in February 2025. Starting this month, the company's partners will receive at least 60% fewer GPUs compared to the previous quarter. This decision is aimed at preparing the market for the launch of new budget Blackwell generation graphics cards, expected to be released in March 2025. The new strategy is intended to help retailers clear existing stocks of the GeForce RTX 4060 and RTX 4060 Ti without significant price reductions. WCCF tech suggests that this could lead to a shortage of these models, potentially driving up their retail prices. Capcom has shared details about Onimusha Way of the Sword and announced a remaster of Onimusha 2 Samurai's Destiny. Onimusha Way of the Sword will take place in Kyoto during the Edo period. The protagonist is a samurai who acquires a magical Oni Glove, enabling him to fight supernatural creatures known as Genma. The game is currently in active development, with Capcom focusing on character design, authentic depictions of Kyoto, and dynamic sword combat. The studio promises a dramatic story, an advanced enemy dismemberment system, and memorable characters. The difficult level will be balanced, with no plans for an excessively hard game. Onimusha Way of the Sword is expected to release in 2026. Additionally, Capcom has announced a remaster of Onimusha 2 Samurai's Destiny, the iconic samurai action game that originally launched in 2002 for PlayStation 2. The remaster will release later this year for PC and consoles, including the Switch. Last month, AMD quietly released the budget-friendly 6-core Ryzen 7 400F processor, a cut-down version of the Ryzen 7 500F with a 300 MHz lower maximum clock speed. Chinese retailers are selling the Ryzen 7 400F for 849 yuan, while the Ryzen 7 500F costs about $150. Typically, processors with slight frequency differences don't have such a significant price gap. It turns out the lower price of the Ryzen 7 400F is due to a more cost-effective manufacturing method. A Chinese enthusiast, Melon Master, obtained a unit and performed a deleting procedure. He discovered that instead of using more expensive solder, the thermal interface between the processor die and the integrated heat spreader is made of cheap thermal paste. This negatively affects the thermal performance and, in some scenarios, impacts the chip's performance. For instance, in the Cinebench R23 single-core test, the Ryzen 7 400F is 7% slower than the Ryzen 7 500F. Is the Ryzen 7 400F a good deal for budget builds? Share your thoughts in the comments. According to reports from video cards, MSI and Asus have quietly raised the prices of custom versions of the GeForce RTX 5090 and RTX 5080 in their official stores. These changes mean that there are no longer models available at the recommended retail price. For instance, the MSI Ventus 3X GeForce RTX 5080, previously priced at $999, is now listed at $1139. The entry-level MSI Ventus 3X RTX 5090 has also increased in price to $2370. $1,980, a $380 hike from its original price. The price increases also affect premium versions. For example, the RTX 5090 Supreme Liquid is now priced at $2,789, even though MSI initially set its MSRP at $2,499. Asus has even higher price hikes in its official store, with RTX 5080 models reaching $1,649. The most expensive RTX 5090 model is listed at $3,409, which is 70% higher than its MSRP. Currently, these GPUs are out of stock, but both companies are increasing prices to boost profits when new stock arrives. 
Video cards journalists, citing a reliable insider named Jakeen, have shared new details about Intel's upcoming desktop processors codenamed Nova Lake. According to the new information, the high-end models in the Nova Lake family will feature 52 physical cores, not 48 as previously reported. The insider claims that in addition to the standard P cores and E cores, the processors will be equipped with additional LPE cores, which offer enhanced energy efficiency. The flagship model will include four of these low-power cores. Therefore, the top chip in the Intel Nova Lake lineup will have 16 performance cores, 32 efficiency cores, and four ultra-low power cores. Additionally, the insider disclosed the core configurations for the top mobile processors based on the Nova Lake architecture. The flagship Nova Lake HX series chip will feature 28 cores, while the most powerful CPU in the Nova Lake H series will have 16 cores. Intel is expected to release these processors in 2026. Can LPE cores make a real difference in performance? Share your thoughts in the comments. EVGA has officially announced the closure of its community forum. The platform was a hub for discussions on PC hardware, overclocking, software, and gaming industry news. While existing threads will remain available in read-only mode, new registrations and topic creation are no longer possible. Users are encouraged to continue discussions on the Team EVGA subreddit. This move comes nearly two years after EVGA ended its partnership with NVIDIA and shut down its graphics card division. Since then, the company has shifted its focus to power supplies and liquid cooling solutions. Despite this, some fans still hope for EVGA is returned to the GPU market. Electronic Arts CEO Andrew Wilson has indicated that the release of the next Battlefield game may be delayed due to competition from major titles in 2025, including GTA 6. He noted that next year will be highly competitive and that Electronic Arts may need to adjust its release plans. Wilson also emphasized that this Battlefield has received more investment than any previous entry and the company wants to ensure the game launches at the right time to maximize its potential. According to latest financial report, the game is still scheduled for release by March 31st 2026. Players can sign up for Battlefield Labs to participate in early testing before the official release. Video Cards has shared new rumors about NVIDIA's upcoming GeForce RTX 5060 and RTX 5060 Ti graphics cards. According to these reports, NVIDIA will not equip the new mass-market GPUs with the modern 16-pin power connectors. Instead, they will use the traditional 8-pin connectors. However, these new GPUs will come with higher power requirements, while the previous RTX 4060 and RTX 4060 Ti cards could run with a 550 watts power supply. The new RDX 5060 and RDX 5060 Ti will require a 6 650 watts. In terms of performance, the RTX 5060 Ti is expected to match the performance of the RDX 4070 and the RX 7900 GRE, while the RTX 5060 will deliver performance similar to the RTX 4060 Ti and RX 7800 XT. As for pricing, the RTX 5060 Ti will start at no less than 3,299 yuan, while the RTX 5060 will begin at 2,599 yuan. Thanks for watching our latest gaming and tech roundup. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications on our latest updates. Would you go for the RTX 5060 Ti at its current price? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.